Hello and welcome to this review of Bacardi Black. Guess what? I've never had a Bacardi rum in my entire life. <laughs> but you have. Yes. But I bought three bottles this month. I got Christmas gifts and so I bought the bottles because the yeah. gifts were monetary. <laughs> no, right. I don't pay attention to rum in the same way as I pay attention to like whiskey so I don't know that like know that much about it or have that much of a point of comparison. There's just certain rums that have like stood out to me as particularly memorable. Otherwise, yeah. I usually have rum in like, a, like I was telling you like a dark and stormy or some kind of mixed drink. Well, uh, this is one of the classic ones. It's one of the old ones. It's got the bat on there. It's their trademark. Yeah. And it um, was started in Santiago de Cuba mm -hmm. by a man named Emilio Bacardi in 18... 62. Then his family kept running it and then they had to flee Cuba in 1960 because the government, the communist government, wanted to take everybody's property. And then they found asylum in the United States? They went to Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. And then started up again. So, uh, hmm. Who owns they, it now? I think it's still owned by Bacardi. Oh, it's that's just that nice. Bacardi owns a lot of other brands. Oh, so Okay. So. They bought a lot of other brands. So if you get on their website, they have, of course, the rum. And then they'll say our other brands, whiskey, oh. gin, and whatever. But it's, it's still owned company. by that same family. That's I think cool. so, yeah. It's a big company, yeah. That's nice. Um, so, and, so it says Superior Rum, um, the dark one. All right, the dark type. So black rum. All right. As I said right there, made in Puerto Rico. It says the the symbol of the Bacardi family right there. And I think I pr tend to prefer darker rums. When I was younger, I liked like spiced rum, but mm -hmm. I think I prefer darker rums now. Although I've had some white rums that were really good. It says this is for bold drinks. Um, it's a dark and intense rum that captures the bold flavors of oak, orange peel, and sweet molasses. Enjoy with ginger beer or ginger ale and fresh lime over lots of ice. Exactly Add a few said. drops of bitters for a delicious Tormenta Negra. Alternatively, try with your favorite cola. Find this and other Bacardi delicious recipes at Bacardi.com. So if you get on their website, like, you know, mm -hmm. we've seen over the years all those liquor websites that have all these recipes, like mm -hmm. with the brandy websites, mm -hmm. gin, rum, and whiskey. I have some of that Paul Masson brandy right now that I've been drinking in my eggnog. The VS, the VSOP, or the XO? <laughs> the, the cheap, the $9 one. The VS? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you pay a dollar more, you get the VSOP. It's a little older age. But the VS is good for the hot toddies. Yeah, and I'm just putting it in eggnog or whatever, or eggnog, so I didn't yeah. need to. Or like a, it's good in like a mulled wine, so I didn't need something. That hey, nice. yeah, yeah. I, I, I like Parmesan VS, so I'm not disparaging it. No, okay, so, but I will get the VSOP normally. Um... <clears throat> yeah, very special old pail. Uh, Definitely smells like rum to me. It's brown, reddish brown. Oh. Like you said, mahogany, kind of like the Abita brown ale, the Christmas ale. <laughs> yes, it does have a similar color. Except it's not as red, I don't think. No. It's not as dark. It's more brown and lighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, let's go with the aroma. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, go with the aroma. You're getting ready to sip it. No, I was going to do the aroma. Um, I was. Th I thought it. Was Think about rum. I I don't love the smell. It's almost like a paint thinner or something. Not like whiskey tends to have really like. Mmm. Like I love the smell of like a nice bourbon, but. It smells to me like wood and a sugary liquor because that's what it's made from molasses, which is what made yeah. from what cane sugar. Yeah. So, Think of that, like along, uh, along the lines of a pancake syrup. Like a plank on a pirate ship. Yeah, something like that. It's Glass aged, that spilled it's, on it. It's aged in old bourbon barrels and old wood barrels. So yeah. this is what you got. Now, let's go with the taste. Mm. Ooh, I get that woody spice in there. For sure. Spicy wood. With a little char, like a little charcoal. Dark. Yeah, I like this better than the Bacardi Gold. Oh yeah? Well, yeah. This is the darker one. Yes. Because it's like dark, gold, and white. You know, yes. it's like graded. 
according to color. Because you you know I like the spi I, I like stuff with that spiciness and. And this is a little bit more expensive. Like the Bacardi Gold is twelve ninety nine. This would be like fourteen ninety nine. But that's right. not much. Right. I don't. I'm not going to start rating um, alcohol, uh, whiskey, or uh, you know what I mean, liquor until twenty nineteen. But I would still say I highly recommend. I'm getting close. I would highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. This might be posted after the new year. But once I start recording in 2019, then I'll give scores. So then you're going to return to all these bottles that you've already reviewed and then give them a score? I could. Score. People might get sick of that. I could do That's it. True. could do it. I've drunk, I've drunk down many of them. Anyway, um, I'm really tempted to give it a score, but I think it's great. I don't know which, which is better, this or the Myers rum. I'd have to do a blind taste test, but... Um, you should. I'd like to see that. I don't know. It's hard to say. This one has a lot of minty spiciness. It's mm -hmm. like mint. Mm -hmm. They're talking about what orange peel or something, but I think it's got mint. I don't know about orange peel. I get what you mean with this sort of menthol. Oh, I would love this with a little bit of lime. A little ginger beer. This is what you would make a dark and stormy out of. So good. So you would recommend people buy the Bacardi Black? Yes. And you like it. Is it cheaper than the Myers is? Myers, everybody calls it Myers, but it's really Myers is. I know, I, I call it Myers too, but because I'm with you and I know you was going to correct me anyway, I said Myers. <laughs> no, I gave up on trying to correct people on that. No, uh, Myers <laughs> is, for the same size bottle, is about eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, so, so especially is, if you're trying to save... This is four dollars less. Yeah, if you're trying to save a few dollars, you know, go for it, especially if you're making like a mixed drink. What's really good rum? There's actually a rum distillery in Natchez that is the best rum that I've ever had besides that Havana Club. And they've got some in Louisiana too now. Mm. Lots of them because of the sugar cane culture. Well, I just gulped it down, shouldn't have done that, but oh, what's happening? No, but um, I like it. This is me pre-gaming for the, the rest of the eggnog I'm gonna have to drink tonight. So you, you give a, a, qua a measured recommendation or a full strong recommendation? I would give it a full strong recommendation. I mean, I'm sure if you're like a rum connoisseur, you probably don't want it, but I am that I am not. I'm Neither me. Not as picky about rum as I'm about something. So yeah, I, I just try them and tell you what I think. But I'm also not really gonna be sitting here like sipping on rum with you know like a rum neat like I would with a whiskey or something. Right. So so we're saying buy it. Yeah. And try it. And you'll probably like it. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna make some. I'm going to make some hot buttered rum tonight, um, and now I'm really wishing I would have bought this one instead of the Bacardi Gold. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that wood, that wood, that wood, that wood. That's nice. I'm really picking it up, but I think the Myers has even more wood. So anyway, all right, thanks for watching this video production.